Imagine walking through a dark forest at night, your heart pounding with every step. The shadows around you seem to close in, and the silence is heavy. You know you've taken a wrong turn, and now fear grips you. But then up ahead a soft glow begins to break through the trees. You hesitate, unsure if you should go toward it. That light might reveal where you are, and what you've done. This is how we often feel when we've done something wrong, isn't it? We know deep down that stepping into the light means exposing our mistakes. It's a natural human instinct to hide when we're ashamed. Look back to the very first story in the Bible, Adam and Eve, who after disobeying God, hid themselves in the garden. They knew they had done wrong, and the instinct was to cover their tracks. But here's the thing about light, it doesn't just reveal, it also guides, heals, and purifies. God is that light. And while the thought of standing fully exposed before Him might feel terrifying, it's also the only way to truly be free. Because in God's light, our deeds, no matter how dark, can be forgiven. Jesus came to turn this terrifying moment into a moment of grace. He brought a new kind of light, one that doesn't just expose but also redeems. When you believe in Him, you step into a light that doesn't condemn but forgives. You don't need to be afraid of being exposed anymore because Jesus has already taken that burden upon himself. So when you feel the weight of your sins pressing down on you and the urge to hide from God is strong, remember this, you don't need to hide anymore. You are already forgiven, that light you see ahead. It's not there to judge you it's there to welcome you, to set you free from the darkness. Heavenly Father, I sometimes feel overwhelmed by my sins and want to retreat into the shadows, but I ask for your help to step boldly into your light. Lift the weight of my burdens, remind me that I am forgiven, and fill me with the confidence to walk in your truth. Let me embrace your grace fully, so I can live in the freedom you've given me. Like and subscribe, if you love God.